Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So this is the second video in the Watsi Booster Box mini series where we look at boxes on eBay, any private sales that have happened, keep track of Watsi Booster Box prices, how many are available in the UK. Um, so if you haven't seen the first video, please go check it out uh, because we will be talking about boxes that we saw sort of 10 days ago in the first video and we'll be looking at solds. Um, and everything related to that. So go see it if you haven't, and if you have, let's get on with the video. So let me just hit record here so we can start sharing the screen. Um, and Pokemon Booster Box. So again, as always, we just highest price, item UK only. Um, first of all, Legendary Collection Booster Box. So this was a box that was in the first video. If you remember, it was actually up for um, 1500. It was up for the 15 grand. They've now upped it to 20. Personally, I think that's because um, uh, obviously the base set sold for 10,500, 10, which then led to mine going on eBay for 12,500. Um, and they had theirs up their legendary collection up for 15 so not far off right and if you go back sort of a year legendary collection was always worth about two to three times more than base set you know it's a lot more rare um people desire it more it's just it's got more value attached to it so the fact that they were selling base set unlimited for sort of 10 10 500 mine's on there for 12 whoever's listed that's probably gone do you know what this isn't you know 15 is undervalued I'll up it to, to 20, you know, just just about double what the last base unlimited was sold for, which is fair enough. I'd probably do exactly the same um, if I was them. So that's still on there. You've got my base set box, which is still on there as well. Um, we've got a new box listed. We've got base set unlimited box, which has been listed for 11,495 but I actually saw this go up and it was originally listed for 11,999. I think this has been reduced because there was some eBay selling fees so there was one pound selling fees so I think they've knocked a, a bit off the price um, because uh, you know they saved they saved money by relisting under one pound fees but sometimes you've got to be careful with that because they are getting quite on on top of people relisting items under the fees that were listed previously. I've heard a few people have been caught out and, and had to pay fees. Um, so that's been listed. Another base box has been listed for 9,500 and it has best offers on. So chances are they they'll be willing to take a little bit less than um, nine and a half. You've got a couple of pictures there. Looks, you know, looks looks all right. Um, got the mul multiple country codes on the bottom. They've they've listed it as blue ring, but you know, most base box, base set unlimited boxes are blue ring. So it's referring to the Charizard's wings there. You can get a green wing, and it's a bit more rare and worth a bit more, but um. That's normally any time you see sort of that in the title, but they've listed it on this. Um, so I assume if any sale, that one will be the first to go. Um, we've got Neo Rev. Again, I think this was from 10 days ago, the last video. I think that was from there. It was up for 9,500 before, so they've dropped it. Um, again, maybe fees, you know, maybe they've done the same thing as uh, this box here. Um, and they got best offers on. We've got Gym Heroes, which was in the last video, so that's still on there at six and a half with best offers on. We've got UAE's Jungle Boxes still on their same price. We've got Unlimited Rocket, which is still on there, um, same price as before. We've got uh, what looks to be possibly a new box. I can't remember. I think there was another Unlimited box, so... I actually think that was on there from the week before as well, but I will double check. I'm actually going to start putting all this information eventually on a website because I just type it up um, and then it's just going to be really easy if, if anyone wants to not watch the videos and just go straight on there to see prices. Um, you know, I'll just list, you can 
just click on sort of the month, the week, and then you'll just be able to see how many were available, what price they were for sale for, and you know, if any sold, how much they sold for. Uh, we've also got his two fossil boxes, which again were there last week. We've got a really, really beat up Team Rocket box. Uh, it doesn't even look like the wrapper's on, I don't, don't understand. Uh, you can see it sort of shining on the, the Pokemon logo, but if you look sort of to the right, it just looks like there's not a wrapper, but it still has the Wizards of the Coast stamps, which is weird. But um, yeah, that's that's really damaged, isn't it? It's also got a massive sticker on the bottom. Uh, that box should be opened. Um, yeah, there's just open it and, and sell the packs. There's a... Uh, <laughs> I, I wouldn't want to keep that sealed and that is, you know, £5,000 for an unlimited Team Rocket box, which, you know, extra £500 you can get, you can get a mint one, you could probably get, this is probably even better condition, like, you know, look at that. So I think they're asking a little bit too much, to be honest, because that is, you know, people will pay a premium for, for a nice condition box. <laughs> And it's on auction with a starting bid of five grand. Uh, three days left. I don't. That's not. I don't, I'm gonna say it now that no one's gonna bid on that. If they do, um, we can have a look at it sort of next week. See what happens to this box. But personally, I don't think anyone's gonna bid on that for that price. Just asking too much for the condition of the box, to be honest. Um, and if they do, you know, we can have a look at it. See if it's you know an account that looks like shield bidding or or anything like that um well yeah no that's not not good condition let's see what it said <laughs> condition is 70 <laughs> percent i don't think i've ever seen anyone uh mention a condition uh, is a percentage but especially for a box but um that's quite that's quite funny it, it was a purchase from entertainment 100 percent genuine never been opened um Dispatch special delivery with plus extra insurance. Uh, fair play to add in the insurance. Something I always do is add insurance because for what you know, whether you're buying or selling, you you know, it's a five grand item. How are you, you know, not gonna insure that? It sh should always be included. Um for peace of mind for both sides. Like it's just um something I always do myself. I'm actually gonna paste it out. Cool. Um yeah, that'd be an interesting one to watch, to be honest. Very interesting. Um, yeah, that's where, yeah, there we are. And then we've got another Team Rocket Unlimited box. Um, four grand, uh, very similar setup, four grand, zero bids. So it's a thousand pounds cheaper than the beat up one. It's got make offers on. Um, looks all right there. Uh, <laughs> but we've got this, this uh, horrendous photo, which is, is pointless. Um, personally, you know, for some reason it's it's, it's frozen on that <laughs> that buggy photo. Um, but yeah, you know, you're selling an item for for four thousand pounds, and then you take a photo like that and upload it. It's not, you know, you you need to take time to to at least take some good photos. You can only see the front and the back of the box, so. You know, you, you're going to want a photo, you're going to want to see every corner. You know, there could be, there could be, the seal could be teared down one side because you can't see the, all the sides of the box. So, um, yeah, that's that's probably not not good listing, but sending it second class as well. Again, like I just said about insurance, you know, why are you selling a four grand box and posting it second class? Um, it's just not, it's just not very good, you know. The longer it's, it's in postage, the longer it's been delivered, you know, more chance of that getting lost, getting damaged. Um, you know, I I have to just add insurance every time. Just have to, you know, just peace of mind for, for both parties. But um, I think that's it. Yeah, so what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, we've got 14. So we've got one more than the week before. Um, there are boxes missing. So, I'm, you know, it's gonna be interesting to see um, what happened to them. So let's just go to 
sold and completed and see see what happens so it's been 10 days i think roughly um but i don't think any of these boxes no none of these were from um last week uh are we filtering by what we filtering by booster box sold listings let's just double check um we are sorting this correctly because we've got 19th of july we've got 5th of july and we've got 15th um i guess we need to look at ended recently and we're probably gonna have to chuck what's the in the title <laughs> yeah that's not that's no good really is it um it's just coming up with with a lot of uh mystery packs Right, I guess um, if yeah, if we get rid of what's here and we do, we just do hot. Apparently, I clicked that. <laughs> we just do highest price, and we just have to kind of look at look at the dates, which is uh, highest price, and look at the dates. So, nineteenth of July. We may as well just check this one out. We had a first edition Neo Genesis box in the UK for sale. Um, it was up for 20 grand and rare item. One of the corners is a slight dent. Let's just check the original list and see, um, have a look at this box. So, I mean, all the Neo boxes are quite rare and expensive as it is. So, oh, the, you know, you can see that corner, that bottom left corner there. Um, I assume that's the corner they're talking about. I think that's it, just it from the other side, yeah. So, got damage to the corner. Um, other than that, you know, the rest of the box looks all right, but maybe it's a, a, a box for breaking at some point and selling the packs, but 20 grand that was up for. If we go on Flipper Tools and copy this ID, Flipper Tools, uh, eBay, best offer. Um, go ahead. Go on Flipper Tools, you can paste it in. It will tell you the price that was agreed with the seller. So it tells you in dollars, but just ignore that. So it went for £14,400, which is probably quite reasonable for a first edition um, Neo box. You know, they won't they won't come up on eBay, I imagine that often. Um, and again, you've got the you've got the T17 cards, you've got the Lugia, you got you got some big potential cards graded cards that you could get out of that set uh, that are worth a lot um and again it's neo neo is always always you know quite rare and desirable for a lot of collectors uh there, let's just check these dates and see if there's anything we missed but yeah i think i think it looks like none of the boxes um that we looked at last week have sold um, these ones that are on bids, those ones that were on auction, those Team Rocket booster boxes that we've just seen. Um, I do know of some sales that have happened off eBay. So there was a private sale of a Gym Challenge Unlimited box. It was up for £5,750. Um, again, I don't know the exact price, but I can make a, a very sort of educated assumption that it probably went between five thousand pound and five thousand five hundred so i would put that down as a rough sort of price figure for what that gym challenge unlimited sold for um and that's it that's it it looks like there's been one sort of box sale it was private and it was just gym challenge unlimited now what happened to all those other boxes i can only assume they've, they've been taken down um you know, none, there's none, none here on the solds, on the sold and completed. There's, there's none of them showing. Um, so either those boxes got taken down, you know, the seller changed his mind um, and want to keep it, or possibly um, they've, you know, opened them and they're selling the packs. You know, they, they, they're going to break the box and sell booster packs unweighed, or they're going to weigh them out and sell them as weighed. Or maybe, you know, they're just keeping hold of it a bit longer. Um, who knows but going forward i'm going to watch all the items we've just discussed so if they ever change if if these items come down uh if the price changes 
you know, I can keep track of it way better because obviously we've got a lot of uh, boxes here that, that weren't, you know, accounted for, I guess. Um, we had a, a gym challenge single code that you might remember from last uh, video where it was the box that had the corrected Charizard, the Blaine's Charizard error card. Um, so yeah, obviously that was up for like 15 grand. Uh, I'm not sure where that was. Um, I can only assume it's taken down and probably sold privately. So I might reach out to these people. Uh, I, I'm fully aware they might just not care and not, not want to speak to me. But it would be really interesting to see if we can verify any of those sales. Because as these prices get higher and higher, there's only going to be more off eBay sales. I think, like I said in the last video, I bought most of my boxes last year. They weren't around these prices at all. You know, you, you're looking at three grand for a base set unlimited box. Um, that was the prices that I was buying at. Um, and even then I was buying, you know, through Instagram, through Facebook to avoid sort of the fees associated with, with eBay. You know, there's a almost like a 10% premium instantly with, with eBay and PayPal. Um, so, you know, as these just increase, you know, it's naturally going to come off eBay um, and go, you know, go privately, just 10 percent of of a 20 grand transaction you're talking two grand like it's a lot of money just to for the sake of buying it you know through through ebay um so it'd be interesting to see though um obviously we will check these new boxes in the next video and see where it goes but hope you enjoyed today's video um as soon as i've got sort of anything together in terms of a website with all that information i'll be letting you guys know um on here and on my instagram account as always, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, turn notifications on. Um, I will be making this as a playlist, so you can always jump on that playlist and watch through these videos as more sort of uh, created every few weeks. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Hit like, drop me a comment, give me some suggestions. And as always, guys, take care.